Hey everybody, Chris here from Tangle Tackle up here in Manistee, Michigan. I want to talk to you real quick today about a, a couple things. Uh, first off being a lot of requests that I've gotten um, for some lake trout information up here in this area. Uh, really, lake trout fishing is fantastic. This year has been for the last couple of years, the lake trout fishery is really strong in Lake Michigan right now. From Ludington all the way up to Arcadia. Um, great, great lake trout fishing. Um, honestly, king bites down a little bit. Not saying it's not going to be coming back here and it's looking like it's going to turn on here really uh, any day and that's something we're all hoping for but in the interim you know lake trout fishing is there a lot of the charter guys are, are going over that it's really their primary fishing source and a lot of the weekend guys um, and tournament guys are using that lake trout fishing uh, as their number one um, fishing right now so it's there use it um, the bite's great it's not hard to do um, so we're going to go over some of those things that people requested today, really how we run our lake trout rigs, um, some of the ways that we tie up the teasers for those rigs. And the other thing I want to talk to you about is a new product that came out by or came out from Dreamweaver Lures in the last couple of years. Yeah, and really it's, it's for lake trout fishing, and that's their new uh, Whirly Gig. And this is something that we're using now primarily um, on our boat as our lake trout rig, or on our lake trout rigs. Really durable product. Dreamweaver has knocked it out of the park with this thing. But we're going to talk about that more here in just a sec. So, how do we run our lake trout rigs, or how do we tie them up? What do we like to use? Uh, really, we use the same technique to tie the, the teasers that we use to tie our, our trolling flies. So, if you haven't watched that video yet, go back and see our original video on how to tie your own trolling flies. And uh, go over that a few times and, and figure that out and get familiar with it. Uh, once you've done that, what we have here is really one of those flies um, that's been tied up. Ties here, and it's on a bullet head. You can see the bullet head here. But instead of running it in this fashion, where it goes to the water in this direction with it curling back like this, I'm going to leave it just like this this time. And I've taken this and I've cut it down to about two and a half inches. And the easiest way I found to do that is I just I have a a, a piece of PVC pipe here. It's been hollowed out, and I got a mark here at about two and a half inches. So when I put that fly in there, run it up to that mark, then I can cut it off right there at the end of that PVC, and it comes out really neat and flush. So that's an easy way to do it. But now I got my, my teaser uh, for my leg trout rig. So again, go back and watch our fly tying video if you need to learn how to tie these flies. This fly for this rig is a two-color fly, glow white, and then a UV green uh, cracked ice, which is almost like a paper material. But that's one of my favorite flies right there. But you can go and you make anything you want to. That's the beauty of it. So we're going to start with a number two VMC Spark Point 4X hook. And this is a size number two, like I said, a size two VMC Spark Point hook. And I have it tied on to a oh, pretty long piece of. 50 pound fluorocarbon and I've just used a, a Palomar knot uh, on this you could use a clinch knot or trilene knot or you could even snell it if you wanted to I've done that before but Palomar knots are really strong so that's why I'm going to go here once I got that I'm going to run three beads and I'm going to use green beads because my fly and my whirly gig is primarily green and like I said so it's going to be three beads down onto that knot and the reason I go three beads sometimes two but three is what I like like trout can be notorious light biters and they'll come up and they'll mouth that you know the rig itself is gonna be up in here and they'll come up and they'll mouth at the end of that rig and this almost acts like a like a trailer hook so if they light bite it a lot of times they're gonna get that hook um, still in the mouth so three beads on top of my top of my hook I'm going to take my fly rig, and again, this is just a glow white bullet head. Um, I like the chrome bullet heads also, but I'm going to feed it backwards. So that means I'm going to go into the top of the bullet head. And it's going to run down and sit right on top of those beads. Come down, and it's just going to go to about the top of the hooks. Now I'm going to put another bead on top of that, kind of like as a on like a cushion I guess and then I'm going to take my whirly gig and this is a glow white whirly gig 
I also have a Fire Tiger Whirly Gig sitting here. Um, got Tangerines, really good. I got the Lyman Twist, really good. Go on Dream, DreamweaverLures.com, check out all their Whirly Gigs. I got a bunch of colors, really anything you're going to want, it's there. Uh, so, Whirly Gig. Again, I'm using the glow white. That's going to come right down on top of that. On top of the uh, the fly. So that's really primarily the rig right there. Sometimes I like to overstack beads. And by overstacking, just means I'll put a couple more on top of the whirly gig. And it just gives a little more color and a little more flash. I'll do that with my salmon flies too. Overstack them. I'll do four or five beads sometimes on top of my salmon flies. Just give it a little more color and flash. But that's it right there. Whirly gig itself is made out of good plastic. The wings are made out of plastic. You're not going to be able to break those things off. Um, those things can take a beating because you're running trout gear on the bottom of the lake. You're running it down in the dirt and the sand. And those wings can really take a beating. And these things will stand up to the test of time. You can run these things over and over and over again. So now we got that. That's pretty much your lake trout rig. Uh, sometimes I'll even 10 or 11 inches above it. I'll put a another uh, flash around there, like a willow or a Colorado blade on a little clevis right there. Uh, just almost like an extra cowbell on top of there. I think I got a spider crawling down the back of my neck. Sorry. Uh, and I'll sit right there and give it a little more flash. Now length, really, that's up to you. What you want. 22 inches is kind of a standard for what I've heard, but there's times I know that. Um, longer is a little bit better. Sometimes shorter is a little bit better. So roughly 22 inches. I'm not going to measure it out right now, but about 22 inches. I'm going to make a double loop knot, which means I'm just bending the line over, making a loop knot one time, and then a second time back through. Wet it up a little bit, tighten it up. That's a pretty big loop, but that's okay. Trim off the tag. Now what we like to run these behind are Dreamweaver Spin Doctor 8 inch chromes. You can see this thing's taking a beating. Um, the chrome is starting to really get wore off where it's down in the dirt. So this thing's been around for a while but it's still going to catch fish for us. We're not worried. Uh, on the back I like to use Dreamweaver, um, uh, some people call these corkscrew swivels, pigtail swivels, whatever you like. Pigtail swivel, take that loop, run it over the corkscrew, and that is your finished product. Put that down in the water, on the riggers, on your divers, lows and highs, put everything down in the sand, now run it down in the dirt, slow your boat down, 1.5 um, to 1.7. Uh, really is the speed you're looking for sometimes a little bit quicker can be a little bit better but one five to one seven is is really what you're, you're looking for so this rig here run them on spin doctors these chromated spin doctors run them on cowbells if you want to they work really good on cowbells maybe lengthen out your leader a little bit for cowbells though sometimes like a 30 inch leader is a little bit better on the cowbells and uh, you're good to go that's lake trout fishing so for all your stuff um, for your fly tying material, purpletacoflysupply.com. I got everything you're going to want. Purpletacoflysupply.com. Uh, make up your own materials, or I'm sorry, your own flies. Choose the colors you want. Just try to match them to your whirly gigs. For all your whirly gigs and your spin doctors, dreamweaverlures.com. Um, they got everything you want for lake trout, as well as all your salmon, um, spoons, flies, meat rigs, rotators paddles, spin doctors, you name it, dreamweaverlures.com, purpletacoflysupply.com, and that's it. If you got any questions at all, shoot me a message, chrisstangletackle.com, I'm sorry, chrisstangletackle at gmail.com, or respond to this video, and I'll, I'll hit you back with a reply. If you want to like or sub, we appreciate it. Not necessary. We're just fishermen. Uh, we're not out here to make money on YouTube. We're just trying to help people out. So that's it. Let me know how you do. Reply in the comments. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you on the water.